Drew Barrymore shares the reality behind her decades-long friendship with Cameron Diaz. Two of Hollywood's most powerful and beloved actresses, Drew Barrymore and Cameron Diaz, struck up a great partnership in comedy thriller Charlie's Angels. And given their on-screen chemistry, it's no surprise to learn that they're friends in real life. This is more than the kind of Hollywood friendship you so often hear about, though. These two have been besties for decades. Of course, when you think about the two actresses together, you think Charlie's Angels. The 2000 film was a huge success, and if you didn't already know the stars, you'd never forget them after seeing it. Barrymore, Diaz, and co-star Lucy Liu lit the screen up in a girl power sensation which did so well at the box office that a sequel followed in 2003. The three leading ladies had a great time making the film, which is obvious to everyone who watches the movie. It's notable for not making women into ersatz men, as Lou told newspaper The Morning Call at the time. She said, Our movie isn't like G.I. Jane, where they took the femininity away from the woman. The fast-paced action and high heels caught fans' imagination. It wasn't all smiles, though, as Lou clashed with male lead Bill Murray. Barrymore explained in a 2021 interview with the New York Post newspaper, what really happened was Bill was just in, you know, comedians can be in a little dark mood sometimes, and he just came in in a bad mood. What you have to know is how much Lucy stood up for herself, and that was the great thing that came out of an unfortunate circumstance. The friendlier on-screen sparks between the women kindled a fire that has endured ever since. Barrymore and Diaz are best buddies. In fact, Barrymore will even share her bed with Diaz, proving that they're not too old for a pajama party. The two of them call each other Poo Poo, as Barrymore shared when she had Diaz as a guest on her talk show. The pair posed together in 2021 for a snap on Instagram before Diaz appeared on her friend's chat show, The Drew Barrymore Show. As the fans went wild for it, with one saying, the best friendship. Another chipped in with, I love that you're both aging gracefully and you both look beautiful. A third gushed, so beautiful, love you both. The pair aren't seen together too often, there's been no repeat of Charlie's Angels since 2003, and despite both having had very busy careers, there haven't been any films that they've starred in together. In fact, the only joint appearance was in a Zoe Bell YouTube short where each appeared for a few seconds. Even then, they didn't share the screen. On her own, Barrymore has had quite the career. It was almost like destiny that she would, given that she's a member of the Barrymore family, full of actors on both stage and screen. She got her break in E.T., the extraterrestrial, when she was only six. Having built an image as a bad girl in small movies, she moved it up a notch in bigger pictures. By the end of the 1990s, Barrymore was demonstrating a huge range, and although she'd once had her critics, they came round. In the 2000s, she was well established as a lead. Of course, Charlie's Angels helped, but movies such as Riding in Cars with Boys and Donnie Darko helped boost her profile too. In 2009, she won multiple awards for her turn in TV movie Grey Gardens. Barrymore's star kept rising in the 2000s, although she became more often seen on TV. She was the voice of Jillian on Family Guy for many years. In 2017, you could catch her in schlock horror Santa Clarita Diet. By the end of the decade, she had moved into the world of chat, with her eponymous talk show kicking off in 2010. For her part, Diaz had a less auspicious start to her life. Noted for her spirit of adventure as a child, she took off at 16 to see the world. A few years later, she came back to California and turned her hand to modeling. An audition for The Mask proved successful, even though she'd never acted before, and she took the lead opposite Jim Carrey in 1994. Given the success of The Mask, you might imagine Diaz would immediately have headed into big films, but she went for smaller production to build her ability. It worked for her because she proved successful in My Best Friend's Wedding, and then hit the stratosphere with There's Something About Mary. Naturally, it didn't hurt that her looks put her on the sexiest woman list. Diaz's career went from strength to strength until 2014 when she quit. She told Kevin Hart on his chat show that she had wanted to focus on other parts of her, which others had been handling for her. Her retirement hasn't lasted, though, with a return of acting from 2022. Although their careers have taken differing, if generally successful trajectories away from the camera, the pair are best friends, and they've been close for more than three decades. It may come as a surprise, though, that the two of them didn't become buddies during Charlie's Angels. Nope, their friendship goes back way further, as they related when cooking together on Instagram Live in 2021. In fact, the pair met at a cafe 
Talking to Katie Couric in 2013, Barrymore said, you know, she was actually 16 and I was 14 when we became friends. I served her coffee and we had mutual friends and we just knew each other from around town. It must have been great coffee because when Barrymore was casting for Charlie's Angels, which she produced, she knew just the woman she wanted to play alongside. Barrymore repeated the story on Instagram Live and she explained that the friendship was still going strong. She said, she's still my bestie and sisty. Sisty? That's a new word. Thanks, Cameron Diaz. We're here to talk and we have things to talk about. And as it turns out, when it comes to Diaz, Barrymore genuinely does have plenty to say. When Barrymore posted a snap of the two on Instagram, she added the caption, bestie hour with my bestie Poo Poo. And she explained all when Diaz guested on her talk show. The host said, it started out as classic boy humor and it just evolved into a true term of endearment. And then it just stuck. We love it. It'll never change. When Good Housekeeping magazine featured Barrymore on its cover in 2016, she revealed that Diaz would be useful if she ever found herself incarcerated. She said, not that any one of us are going to jail anytime soon, but 100%. She would, like, get in there and get you out. And it turns out that springing people from jail and acting aren't the end of Diaz's talents. Barrymore went on to explain what made Diaz such a great friend, saying, if you're looking for the best dinner, cooking partner, and watching TV on the couch friend, call her. If someone's in a medical situation, call her. She's the most loyal, fierce, fun, cozy friend. We have incredible honesty with each other and we work hard on our lives and our friendship. The feeling is mutual, with Diaz confirming that Barrymore is also there for her when needed. She explained that she had to call on Barrymore when her marriage to Will Copelman had ended. Diaz said, everyone pulls the wagons around, you know, our friends, whoever needs us at whatever point in time, even if it's like something that the public doesn't know about. Internally, we're all going like, okay, who needs us now? The friendship is truly special. Barrymore confessed on the show that Diaz was the only person she allowed to sleep in her bed. She said, I don't like co-sleeping with anyone. It's a thing. I don't know why, but it's my thing. If it's like a lover, then obviously that's different, but no friends. I'll sleep in a bathtub. I've slept on a pool table, like you name it. But this one, oh my gosh. We've lived together for periods of time, been roommates. I've slept in a tent while my fever was breaking on a Chilean mountain in a thunderstorm in like Patagonia. I mean, yeah, we've been everywhere together. In 2019, Barrymore once more gushed about Diaz, telling People magazine that the There's Something About Mary star was my bestie, my sister. The interview was all about her zombie show, Santa Clarita Diet, so the magazine asked her whether she'd like to enter immortality with anyone with whom she'd starred. She nominated Diaz, saying, luckily, she's in my life every day. People asked Barrymore about the Instagram selfie, which seemed to be a portrait of a friendship. The Donnie Darko star confirmed that it was. She said, her and I are like sisters, and we see each other all the time, and it was just sort of where we are today. In some ways, just another day in our world, but I felt like sharing it. I love her. But is this just your typical Hollywood friendship where actresses pretend to have a connection that doesn't stand up to scrutiny? No, it seems real. Barrymore told her Instagram fans, Cameron and I tend to text each other while we're getting ready for things. We send each other videos of ourselves from our closets and us getting dressed, dancing around, and sharing information. That's our form of communication. The two also share a mutual love of food. Barrymore said of Diaz, she's always been the chef. She's the best cook ever. Some days we'd be living in a hotel and she'd teach me how to make pasta sauce. I know life with you in the kitchen, Diaz agreed, adding, our kitchen, the kitchen, is where we've always been. It's where I always am. Food is my love language, and it's the main ingredient in everything that I do. Love. And Barrymore confirmed to her followers that their friendship has grown over a lifetime's experience. The two of them had literally been through everything together, good and bad. She said, we've experienced birth, life, death, marriage, divorce, highs and lows, work, boyfriends, friends, travel. There's nothing we haven't done together. No wonder that when Barrymore began her talk show, Diaz was her first guest. When Diaz appeared, Barrymore shared more about their friendship. She said, The thing that I love about our friendship is that we've been there in all the big and important moments. We've also been there in the small moments and the casual moments. And the reason we're such good friends is because it's real and we go through real stuff with each other. It's not a Hollywood fairy tale. Diaz confirmed the truth of it, saying, We've spent so many birthdays together, usually we get to actually be together. 
We're not big gift givers. We're more about experience. So we always try to go someplace and do something with the girls and be together. Cook, eat, hang, and stay up all night and just have the best time. And Diaz left no doubt that the love was mutual, reminding everyone that the show was on Barrymore's birthday. She said, truly one of the great joys of my life is our friendship. When I think about you, literally, I'll cry because I just think you're so special. And to celebrate you is the absolute Every year, it's one of my favorite times of the year to get to celebrate you." Barrymore reflected those good feelings right back at Diaz. She said, "'You've made me a better person my whole life, and you've seen me through everything. Ugly, beautiful, loss, life, birth. The fact that you love me means more than anything because you know every little thing about me. I love you.'" These are two angels who are clearly making each other's lives better for being in them. Barrymore still keeping one foot in the acting world, of course. After the cancellation of her Netflix zombie comedy, Zanta Glorita Diet, the star took top billing in 2020 movie The Stand-In. But since 2020, the actress has become more renowned with her own eponymous talk show. Barrymore's eccentric behavior on her TikTok account has also been attracting attention, though. Like fellow talk show queens Kelly Clarkson and Ellen DeGeneres, Barrymore's colorful personality has produced several viral moments. Take the time she recreated the finale of 50 First Dates with guest Adam Sandler, for example or the reunion she staged with Charlie's Angels castmates Cameron Diaz and Lucy Liu. The Drew Barrymore shows also uploaded several bloopers online, which proves that the series is just as much fun to make as it is to watch. And the host herself is often at the center of all the entertainment. Barrymore's inability to take herself too seriously has even helped her become a sensation online as well. Barrymore had an early taste of talk show hosting when she presided over an episode of Saturday Night Live becoming the youngest ever star to do so in the process. By this point, the star had already developed a reputation as a wild child. She was a regular at Studio 54 during her teenage years and eventually ended up in rehab. Barrymore did appear to have found some degree of stability when she got hitched to Will Copeland in 2012. Shortly afterwards, the pair became parents to firstborn Olive, and then two years later, they welcomed a second daughter, Frankie, into the world. Sadly, though, after four years of marriage, Barrymore and Copelman decided to go their separate ways. But no matter what's thrown at her, Barrymore always seems to keep on smiling. And in 2020, she again used her positive nature to good effect by fronting her very own syndicated talk show. A mixture of lifestyle pieces, human interest tales, and showbiz guests, the Drew Barrymore show became an instant hit. The host's personality undoubtedly held much of its appeal, of course. Barrymore has attracted more than 16 million Instagram followers, too, thanks to her winning personality. And in May 2020, the actress proved that she can find the upbeat in almost anything with a video she uploaded to the social platform. So what was it that got Barrymore at all excited? Well, surprisingly, it was simply a downpour of rain. Barrymore had obviously found herself outside when the heavens opened. In the video clip, she's sopping wet while standing in front of a rain-soaked window. But she appears to be very happy about the situation imploring her followers, if it's raining anywhere you are, just run out in the rain, don't miss the opportunity. But it was a video of Barrymore actually frolicking in wet weather that made her truly go viral two months later. In the TikTok clip, the Never Been Kissed star is seen in a condo building's courtyard enjoying a rain shower. And once again, Barrymore recommends that her followers do the same. Chuckling to herself, a very happy Barrymore looks up to the sky and takes her glasses off before telling viewers, Whenever you can, go out into the rain. Do not miss the opportunity. Whenever you can go out into the rain, do not miss the opportunity! <laughs> the clip soon racked up an astonishing view count of 10 million, with roughly a fifth of that number also pressing the like button. Many watchers took to the comment section as well to express how uplifting Barrymore's venture into the rain was. And that included several other famous faces, too. Leslie Jordan, who's best known for his supporting turn in hit sitcom Will & Grace, offered one such celebrity approval. He simply responded, love this. Kristen Johnson of Third Rock from the Sun fame also enjoyed Barrymore's antics, writing, she's the most full of joy, funny, darling person ever. As you can tell, this is really her. Of course, as with everything on social media, some people manage to put a negative spin on Barrymore enjoying one of life's simple pleasures. Yes, the more dubious viewers put forward the theory that the actor was over-exaggerating in her reaction to the rain, but another famous face soon leapt to her defense. That's right, January Jones, whom many people will know best as Betty Draper from Mad Men, used good old science to demonstrate that Barrymore's reaction was genuine. The actress explained, 
I don't think people understand how rarely it rains in Southern California. When we do get to experience actual precipitation, it's very emotional. And it wasn't just Barrymore's pals in the entertainment industry who shared the love. Many members of the public also posted positive comments about the video clip, including the individual who chose to write, I want to love anything as much as Drew Barrymore loves everything. Perfection. Another admirer responded, There are some people in this world who have infectious energy. Drew Barrymore is one of them. Her life could have continued as it was and been absolutely tragic. The fact that she's such a bubbly, positive, happy, healthy person who takes joy in damn near everything is beautiful. Also referring to Barrymore's troubled years, a different fan commented, Watching her heal her inner child makes me so happy. And then there was the follower who summed up in three words what pretty much everyone else was thinking. They wrote, Protect Drew Barrymore. So what does the actress herself make of all the hoo-ha about her unique rain dance? Well, during a July 2022 chat with People magazine, Barrymore claimed she was simply living in the moment. The Scream star explained, I'm such a hippie that when I see the rain, I just think I want to go out in it and have a little baptism from Mother Nature and be free and not worried for a second. I do worry and stress a lot. Barrymore added, I'm also not a hippie sometimes and really a person who wants to have action and be a business person and get things done. And with that comes a tremendous amount of pressure and stress. Rain is a signal for me to let go and stop overthinking things.